Hi, I'm Nelson, CEO of Property Quants and lead instructor for our Applying Data Science and Machine Learning to Real Estate course. At the end of 2019, I was in Toronto participating in the Collier's Techstars PropTech Accelerator. As part of this program, we engaged in meetings with well over 200 mentors. It was like speed dating. You run from one meeting room to another, sit down, introduce yourself and your company, speak really quickly for 20 minutes, answer a number of questions, and then run to the next meeting. One of the key takeaways from having so many conversations was that in real estate, it seemed like at the senior management level, there was a recognition of the possibilities for data science to revolutionize the industry. They said things like, if we could harness all the data we have, we'd be doing so much better than we are today. But on the ground level, as we spoke with brokers, researchers, fund managers, and as we said that as a company, Property Quants applies data science to real estate, we often got blank stares. What's that about? What is data science? What can you actually do with the data? There seemed to be a real knowledge gap in the industry. This is reflected in the results of the KPMG PropTech surveys in 2018 and 2019. 49% of participants thought that of all the possible technologies, it would be AI, big data, and data analytics that would have the biggest impact on the real estate industry in the long term. Yet, 80% of firms today do not have most or all of their decision-making led by data. And of the many real estate firms with a digital transformation initiative underway, only 5% of the people leading this charge have a background in data analytics. Property Quants has been working to narrow this gap. We've been running short seminars and longer in-depth master's level courses teaching the applications of data science and machine learning to real estate. I'd like to talk today about our 11 week hands-on master's level course. You can also find out more at propertyquants.com training. And to find out more about our two-day seminar, visit propertyquants.com slash seminar. Our course runs 11 weeks as shown on the schedule on the left and is conducted in Python. The course teaches Python, Pandas, Scikit-Learn, Quantum GIS, and many other packages. You don't have to know Python to join us. More than half of our participants take the course without pre-existing knowledge of Python, programming, or data science, and they learn what they need in the bootcamp module of the course. We offer a lot of support. There are pre-work resources we share before the course. Our team will do a video call with you and help you with software setup on your computer as needed. The default option is to attend our courses live in a Google meeting, and you can then share your screen to get help Sometimes share your screen as you're doing exercises and you, if you have the answer, and you can ask questions. We provide assignments and we'll give suggested solutions. There are also weekly live small group TA sessions in which you can ask any questions, go through the homework and so on. Our course culminates in a live capstone project presentation about six weeks after the last class. In those project presentations, you choose a data set that you're interested in, answer a question that's relevant to you, and you'll use the techniques from our class. I'd like to walk through some of our previous participants' projects and talk about the types of analyses that you will be able to build with the skills you'll gain from the course. One of our participants works at a commercial real estate investment fund. She started with a data set of rental indices across thousands of zip codes in the United States. Using programming and time series forecasting techniques that she learned in our course, she was able to predict which markets would have the highest potential growth and rank all the Ds, enabling the firm to focus their investment sourcing efforts in only the most profitable and promising areas. In another project, an independent fix and flip property investor based in South America used the web harvesting methods from our course to assemble a data set of real estate listings and then 
build an automated valuation model on that data set and use this model to then identify the most profitable undervalued properties to invest in that would match certain criteria he needed. These automated valuation models can also be used to estimate the potential profit from each deal when the property is upgraded in terms of condition, number of bedrooms, and so on. We had a group of participants who built a really detailed real estate valuation model for Singapore properties. This was able to determine the right price at which to buy and sell properties. Automated valuation is the technology underpinning popular applications like the Zillow's estimate. It's also a really hot business area in PropTech right now. For example, instant buyers like Open Door need to be able to instantly value properties and bid on them, just given an address. We'll teach you how to do this. We also teach location and spatial analysis. For example, the chart on the left shows how we convert raw data about schools into a quantitative location score. And we'll show how that can be used to study how good a site or location is on multiple factors. Also, you'll be able to input this factor score into a pricing or forecasting model to study how that impacts real estate prices. You can also visualize and study individual properties or sites on a map and understand how demographic changes or other factors could have impacted real estate markets over time. We've had property developer participants in our courses who've used the geographic information systems we teach and that content to determine which sites might be the best to invest in or develop, or just to visualize the location quality of various land parcels. This helps in site selection. The course also covers cluster analysis. We cover a number of use cases, including grouping properties within a city to understand which are more similar, understanding portfolios, figuring out which properties to buy in case you missed a particular deal. But also one of the interesting use cases is property market cycle analysis. By scoring macroeconomic conditions over time, this technique can be used to create a systematic data-driven indicator of whether the current market is topping, bottoming, or somewhere in between. Our course has seen strong demand globally. We initially ran this course as a master's level elective at a leading business school. But since then, we've opened it up to industry, extended the material, and run this course many times. Our participants have come from a variety of backgrounds, including institutional real estate, such as pension funds, brokerages, private equity real estate funds, property developers, and more. We've had appraisers and valuators join the course. And we've had strong participation from prop tech companies such as listing portals, those selling location analytics, and more. When you join the course, you'll be invited to a community chat board where you can network with our alumni and current participants. And we provide careers and recruiting support as well. There are job posts and sometimes freelance real estate data science opportunities within our community network chat board. These are the instructors for the course. I did a PhD in decision sciences at INSEAD a CFA, and my undergraduate work was in economics and mathematics statistics at Columbia. I started my career in quantitative investing at hedge funds in the US, and then was at a sovereign wealth fund in Singapore, and then worked in high frequency trading. So I was always building and using quantitative models to invest. At the same time, I was also investing in real estate in a number of different cities, and I spotted the opportunity to apply these methods into real estate and started property quants about three years ago. Singh will teach some of the classes as well. He has a PhD in statistical physics and a bachelor's in computer science from Peking University and did a postdoc at the Santa Fe Institute. We also have data scientists who will help you in the course as teaching assistants. To find out more about our 11 week course, visit propertyquants.com slash training. We do also offer a two day non-technical seminar Visit propertycons.com slash seminar to find out more. If you'd like to contact me with any questions, do reach out at nelson at propertycons.com. Thank you very much, and I look forward to speaking with you soon.